Hey guys, welcome back once again. For those of you new here, hello and welcome. My name is Evie and today we are going to be playing, not really playing, that is a blatant lie. We are going to be taking a look at the Africa DLC that Planet Zoo did drop a couple of weeks ago now. I tried many a time to film this just kind of quick look over of the animals because I was so excited to check out the pack and my game was just not liking it. It just kept crashing and crashing each time I tried to look at this zoo. I'm not sure why, but Planet Zoo did come out with a patch update maybe like two or three days after and this zoo is now working fine. So without further ado, I know it is late and I know you've already seen them many a times, but we're going to go for a little quick little cheeky lap of the zoo and then we're just going to actually sit and admire some of the animals because boy, oh boy, I think one of my favorite animals in this entire game is in this pack and I cannot wait to show you because ugh. They are so friggin' cute. But without further ado, let's giddy up and go, shall we? So I've made a just kind of a very quickly put together zoo to showcase the actual um, scenery pieces, the animals more so than the scenery pieces, but the new plants and all that. This grass right here is one of it. Oh my God, it really tickles my biscuit. If you can't tell, like, I just feel like it looks so natural in everything that it in. Like it doesn't, even though like it's on sand right now, it still looks like it's going fine. <gasps> Look at the little fennec foxes, the babies. They're doing this weird glitch here and they seem to get like, that's the extent that they swim in that small spot, but I have seen them swimming again. So I'm not sure <laughs> what that is about. Also, they're just not having babies in this zoo, which is a bit odd. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's something to do with the animals I've got in there, I can't seem like I've got no notification saying that somebody is stopping the other one from breeding. So I'm not sure why they're not having babies because the babies in the fennec of the fennec foxes are just so freaking cute. Oh, hello. I'm on top of the fence. No, thank you. So fast. Their little zoomies that they do is so freaking cute. Just turn around and run the other direction. It did. Oh my God, stop. It's zooming everywhere. Okay, that's enough, Fennec Fox. I cannot, no. Where are you zooming? Oh my God, I can't. It's too cute. The Fennec Foxes, I have to admit, are one of the animals that is just so friggin' cute. I just feel like we don't have any animals that do zoomies that fast, that small. And then of course we have the precious little meerkats here that are so tiny and the babies. Oh my God, are you coming to use the bubble machine? <gasps> Do it. No? Okay, cool. I didn't want you to anyway, that's okay. Look at the little hops that they're doing everywhere. Oh my God, they are so precious. But the babies are so teeny tiny beanie biny and have the biggest heads. And I just, I connect with that on a spiritual level, as you can see with my massive <laughs> head, you know? Obviously, I am not as cute as the baby ones. Oh my God, look at them standing though. Uh, we'll get in and have a close, cheeky little look at them in a minute. But coming up is, I'm gonna have to say my favorite animal so far. My favorite animal in this game. And it is the Southern White Rhinoceros. Oh, who's expecting a baby? I wonder who it could be. I don't think it's the rhinos. I think the babies have to age up, which is one of the things that I'm, oh my God, look at that rhino just rolling on its back over there. It is the baby rhino, the baby Southern white rhino that has my heart. It is my new most favorite thing in this entire game. Look at it. It's just so fast. Look, it's such a little jelly bean. It's like a pick me hippo and the pick me hippos are so freaking adorable. I'm literally tearing up a little bit. That's how freaking cute it is. Oh my God, stop it. Look at it. The adults are huge and this little thing is so teeny tiny. I just think the animals in this DLC are just so well done. The skins of them and everything is just okay and it's pooping, are we surprised? That is something that did come in with the update. You can turn off animal pooping if you do not wish to see it now. Because at this point it was actually a little bit ridiculous. 
Oh, look at it. The baby is too much to handle. Look at this cute little family. I actually, I could just sit and watch this baby rhino all day, but that's not what you guys came here to see. We do have one more animal left and it is the African penguin, which I will go all the way up there and then we will go down and watch them diving. Excuse me, people, get out of my way. I'm a VIP. This is necessary for me to go this fast. I can actually zoom out a little bit now. I, before I show you, um, excuse me, can I please walk here? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they bred a little bit crazy in the time that I've had this. <laughs> I didn't realize <laughs> they had actually bred that much, though. That's a little bit ridiculous. Holy cheese balls. Realistically, that actually is that too many? I'm not too sure. I feel like some of them can have like the same as the flamingos, like 500 of them. The way the babies just waddle though, it is way too cute. And the diving animations, as long as they're working, should be all good. I'll have to double check because that was a little bit glitchy at some stage, but oh my. That is so many penguins. <laughs> Do not recommend. Okay, we'll go down the bottom and we'll see if any of them are going to... I'm getting really stuck on this bridge for no real reason so we'll go down and see i literally got motion sick before filming a planet zoo video i was just going too fast spinning too much and i literally just was like i'm actually i'm gonna be sick right now <laughs> okay you gonna dive for me yeah No, that one seems to be above the water somehow, and I don't fully understand what's going on there, but would love it if it decided to dive. Do it. Come on. You know you want to. No? Yeah, there we go. <gasps> Look at it. Ugh. I know the diving animation didn't come with this update, but they just look so good. The update did come with so many nice pieces as well. They came with single bits, two-way glass. Two-way glass? Why do I keep saying, calling it fucking two-way glass? One-way glass. Normal glass is two-way. Uh, sometimes I hate my brain. As well as these really cool cams, which you can see over there. Let's escape out of that and we'll go actually watch them through. Like, you can treat it like a webcam, and I just feel like it's such a good idea. You can add them to each habitat. You can add several ones for each habitat, although I do believe only one does count to a marketing boost. And this is like, if you're home watching a live stream of a zoo, this is what you'd be seeing. And I just think it's really, really fun. And like, here I can swap from that one to the meerkats. Oh my god. Look at them hopping about. To the white rhino. And they even distort the sound. It's just really nice. I think it's a great touch. And the little... <gasps> is that a baby fennec fox? I think it is. I think my fennex finally had babies. <gasps> Look at it playing with the disco ball. Oh my god. And going through the log. You guys have got very lucky yet. That is a baby fennec fox and hot diggity dog. They are way too cute. Look at it. Oh my god. There's little zoomies. Okay. It just phased through potentially its mother, but that's fine. Look at how little. Oh, zoomies. Off they go. <laughs> oh my god. And they're playing with the bubbles. It's way too cute. Okay, I'm get way too involved in this. And let's just go check out the meerkats because I feel like we didn't really get to see them up close and personal. <gasps> we actually got to see one digging right here.
It will potentially come out of the hole that's already there or it will dig itself a new exit point. Which the digging animation is really cute. We did try, a f we, a friend and I, Chip, who does uh, also stream and play a lot of Planet Zoo, who I will leave linked down below, were testing out when this came. Oh my god. Just show me the baby one, please. That's all I want to see. How much you could push this to the absolute limit. Look at the little baby me, Kurt. I Actually, I can't. It's way too cute. Which we ended up putting, I think it was about like, it was above four meters. I reckon it was close to about eight meters of height between the only patches of grass in their entire enclosure. And we found that they could actually dig down the bottom and end up at the top. But it is a weird thing where unless it's classed as traversable area and they can access that area without um, digging to it, they cannot dig there. Which is mildly disappointing because I feel like you could have some... Ugh, sorry, the sound of their little clinkety clankety toes on the metal just got to me for a second. Oh. Which I feel like you could have some really cool habitats if you could have like little areas where they could get to only via digging. However, that is not the case. Hopefully that's something that they could implement in the future, but I am just happy to have some digging animations in general because these little meerkats are just too precious. You can see the ones standing in the back. Oh my god. Lizuko, you baby. Okay, we're gonna... Oh my god! Okay, this is just me getting excited about baby rhinos for about... How long have we been filming? 15 minutes! Just look at it. Does it have little furry ears? How how have I not noticed that? Oh my god, you are too cute. But I have to admit, the animals in this game, I think, are just so well done. I think they have really upped their games since... um. <clears throat> The Binturong incident, uh, which they did obviously fix and it does look great now, but for a small period of time there, that was a very rough decision by them. Uh, these animals all seem really, really good to begin with. The African penguins, the entire kind of feathers, patches of like pigmented skin on their feet. Ugh, double chef kiss. And this baby rhino. I'd literally just die a happy lady watching this baby rhino forever and always. But if you guys have also picked up the Africa DLC, please let me know down below which one is your favorite animal or if you haven't and you are just through the video today found which one your favorite is, I'd love to hear. It is, it is hard. I do love the penguins, but we do already have a penguin in the game as well. So I mean the meerkats and the fennec foxes do just really seem like something a little bit different that we've never seen in this game before. Obviously we have the Indian rhinoceros. I think that's what it is. It just doesn't call to me as much as this southern white rhino. Like, oh, look at this precious. Oh, okay, that's a little bit glitchy. But look at this precious little baby. As well as the scenery pieces already kind of being an extension from the Africa theme that we have in game. I just feel like it really makes this entire pack just slot into the game really, really well. It's just too fast. It's too cute. I can't handle it anymore. I have to go. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you do not miss out when I upload next. I will, of course, be building a zoo with just these animals in it, habitat by habitat, as I am doing with the Eldorado Zoo for the South American pack. I do realize I'm a little bit late. And I will, of course, also be finishing at the Australia House. Look, I've been a little bit behind. Life got in the way. But thank you guys so much once again. And I'll see you next time. Bye.